Greetings, tis me. Dear four? Four, five, four. Yeah, day four since confirmation of infection. Well, day five, because it was half eleven at night. But anyhow, day four of my COVID show. Ooh, the COVID show. Ooh. When I woke up this morning, I felt crap. I thought, here we go. Had um, checked all my vitals. Blood sugar was fine because I'm diabetic. My breathing's fine because I've got COPD. Um, my temperature was fine at 36.4. And I tested my blood pressure and my pulse. And, and that was okay. However, 20 minutes later, I had a blood pressure spike. And it went to 173 over 89 with a pulse of 80. 20 minutes later, it came back down again. Don't know what that's all about. How do I feel today, though? Pretty similar to yesterday. Now, I didn't at the beginning of this morning, or when I, when I first got up, I'd slept for 10 and a half hours. And when I first got up, I did feel pretty bloody shit. I don't feel pretty bloody shit anymore. I just feel um, lethargic, wiped out. Me appetite came back, but that's... I don't really feel like I've anything to eat, but you've got to. You've got to eat, so I'll be forcing that down because it's what it's uh, 20 past 11, so I'll be forcing something to me a bit later on, uh, like soup. Soup is always good. But, yeah, it, it's kind of... I feel like I'm in, you know, God's waiting room. What's going to happen? Is it going to get any worse? Is it going to get any better? Am I just going to stay the way that I am? I can't deny the fact I've got the virus. That, that's been confirmed. And people, oh, there's been false positives. I don't give a shit. When you've had the virus, you've, you've got the bloody virus and, and act as if you've got it. Wear your mask. Don't stop washing your hands. Don't stop alcoholing, you know, with the alcohol rub. When you've been somewhere, just keep doing it. Just wish I knew. Just wish I knew where I got this from. But I, I don't, so there's no point in getting upset and worked up about it. In fact, I nearly got emotional there. Bloody hell. Um, it's, it's, it's terrible to think that I've got this bloody thing. And then, of course, you keep reading about the people who are dying. How long have I had the virus? I don't know. I'll have a guess of approximately a week, I would think. Because last weekend, I wasn't feeling 100%. I was, I was on my exercise bike and my lungs were burning. Um, and I was coughing up muck. And, and at the end of half an hour, because normally I do an hour, an hour and a half, and I'm, you know, I'm okay. After half an hour, I was knackered. So... Maybe I've had it a week. And then, of course, I lost the sense of taste and smell, which for a couple of days I had that before I decided. And thinking, like I've mentioned already, that it was the flu jab affecting me. Obviously, it just wasn't the flu jab affecting me, was it? Uh, no. So that's, that's kind of how I'm feeling today. I just feel numb, I think is the right word I'll use. I just feel numb. Nobody really knows what this thing's going to do to you. You know, if you get the flu, you know you're going to get a temperature and full of snot and your, your, your joints are going to ache. If you catch the normal, the common cold, you're going to get snot and you're going to, be, you know, it's going to last a week. Nobody really knows what this is going to do. They can't say you've got the bug, this is what's going to happen. Because it would appear it affects people differently. Different strains already. It's going to be with us forever, is this thing. Forever. It ain't going away. And there's different strains that affect people differently. When the virus has a, a vaccination, do you want to take the vaccination? I don't think I'll be at the front of the queue somehow. I don't know if I'm going to get through. I don't know. I hope I do. And I'm keeping a close eye on my vitals as much as I can. What else can you do? Worrying times, isn't it?
I don't wish to be a woe is me, but I, I just, you know, there's nobody in the house. There's just me. Hello, me. Um, and when you speak to somebody, it's, it is always nice to speak to somebody, but, you know, I don't want to be a bloody burden on somebody else's issues because we've all got issues in life. It's just the amount of issues that vary. Sometimes you're all right. Sometimes you feel like you're drowning. Anyhow, that is my update for today. Not much different to yesterday, but this morning I certainly felt um, different. I thought, oh God, here we go. But it has leveled itself out a bit. I think the phrase I would like to use rhymes with clucking bell. Bye bye for now.